Hello, hello, my name is Brittany D. I am a psychic medium and spiritual teacher, and I'm here to give you a overall collective message for April 26th through May 3rd. Is that correct? Yeah, May 3rd. Wow, it's already May. <laughs> this week has been effing wild. <laughs> Between the Scorpio full moon and, and the retrograde, I don't know about y'all, drop in the comments below if you've been having a crazy ass week this week. I really feel in my heart and just in my intuition that it is behind us that we are moving beyond this um, and that things are going to begin beginning to open up. And yeah, just remaining in that observer mode. But I think that like the worst is behind us kind of a feeling. But once again, as always, this is an overall message for the collective. So take what resonates. Um, and I also, the doors, the enrollment doors for intuition development, which is about developing your channel, the course, and then the certification process is really stepping into um, delivering your gifts um, to the world, your gifts and abilities. Um, the doors have opened for the spring round. So I'll put the link to that in the description below. Um, but let's go ahead and see what they have this week. Whatever is in the highest and best spirit. Whatever is in the highest and best. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. And then what came out behind that was empowerment. You are more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. I feel like <clears throat> this is like where we're feeling like, are we sure? Are we sure we should take care of ourselves? Are we sure we should take these leaps? Are we sure we should own what we're worthy of and what are what we do have, you know, power, our empowerment, our most powerful, most wealthiest, most abundant selves um, and spirits like even if you don't see those results yet, even if you're not seeing it, continue to follow that alignment of your highest most aligned most powerful um embodied self um and that's you know because you know the heaven is working behind the scenes to support that and then this empowerment card is coming behind that to affirm that you are powerful it's safe for you to be powerful it's safe for you to to follow that aligned timeline um, that is you really be existing and being in your most wealthiest, most abundant, most aligned, most powerful, grounded, just the, the truest version of who you are um, and to really own that power and to embody it and to exist in it. Um, it, it you have to make choices in order to be that um, you are always powerful and that divine energy is always flowing through you, but you have to make choices in your life to really embody that and to own that. And that's what they're talking about. Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So if you aren't feeling this, if you're feeling like I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not in my highest alignment, I'm not connected with my true self, I'm not in my power. Spirit is saying it's okay to to consult an expert, to consult with someone that, um, you know, is, this is what they do, you know, and um, yeah, just really allowing someone to guide you through that process of really coming home to your truest, most empowered, most abundant, wealthiest self. Um, this is for me personally a really good um, affirmation and sign of um, just me launching the intuition development course because that's definitely what this is about and spirits like you know I know I needed a guide it's okay to to, to have a guide and have a trusted expert to to lead you the way and to help you guide guide yourself um, home coming into power we got another power card yes coming into power I step into my power boldly and confidently just rising and shining um and yeah just really receiving what that life force energy that i was talking about that's flowing through you that wealth that overflow um i feel like a lot of what we went through this week was 
really seeing how we are still allowing ourselves to play small, maybe even allowing yourselves to be a punching bag or a doormat or whatever it may be. And you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. This is not, you know, setting those proper boundaries and standing in your truth and in your power. Ooh, then we got letting go. I surrender joylessly to the ebbing and flowing of life. Really just letting spirit take you, letting spirit take the wheel. You know, part of really truly being in your power is about letting the divine flow you flow through you letting divine will take the the steering wheel and your ego getting out of the way and allowing letting go and surrendering into life and allowing life to move you instead of you trying to use your little we power as a human you know to make things happen and the real power is when you allow things to happen through you oh my gosh guys this is so affirming to like the work that's in yeah I'm just like feeling so affirmed right now spirit thank you trusting your intuition my life is truly guided so it's really we're taught we're really leaning into that intuition developing that intuition trusting that trusting that voice um, trusting the unknown, allowing yourself to be carried. They just brought me to this image of this flow. You know, we got the flow going on with the letting go. Um, so it's just like really leaning into trusting your intuition, um, trusting your guidance, really creating solid, um, not only just communications and foundations with those, which you may need a guide to help you figure out how to do that. Um, but you know, to, to really be able to actually make the moves, like you can understand what they're saying. You can understand what your intuition is trying to tell you to do or whatever it may be, but you are the one with the free will that makes the choice of what you're going to listen to. And so that is where, that's this moment. That's what this card is about, is you truly trusting your intuition and moving with that um, instead of any kind of fear. Memories of love and disruption is what we got. Interesting. These are like our closing cards for the week. And um, I just feel this like, like uh, push and pull with the, the divine self and the ego and the distorted and the separated and the the divine and the harmonious and the loving and it's like you're really learning about the ego and the intuition and how these two there's nothing wrong with the ego we're not bashing the ego but how these two interact and um you know it's always happening but it seems like for some reason this week it's really highlighted that there's these two different voices and one is fear and one is love. Um, and can you really choose love? Can you really choose love even when it doesn't make sense? Even when you don't know where that's going to take you? Um, can you actually truly hand your life over and, and choose the, um, the love even if it's unknown? Because I can almost guarantee you it's going to be. You're not going to know what's next. That's part of you know, trusting your intuition and just letting go and following that flow. But it's powerful. It is so powerful. So um, that's what I have for you all this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this was really wonderful for me as well. So I love when that happens. Um, and if you do have any interest in having a guide in learning how to develop your intuition and develop your channel, um, then just click the link in the description for my intuition development course. Um, I will also see you all next Friday. So have a beautiful week um, and much love and namaste.